So this video does exactly what it says, the advice I would give to my 18 year old self. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, it's Amin here with Sira Masters developing the Muslim mindset for success. Now, uh, I've, I've done a lot of pondering over the years of my path, you know, in my 20s. What, what did I uh, get wrong? What, what do I, you know, there are certain issues, certain problems, certain barriers that I uh, came up against. And I realized it would have been simple to, to overcome. I realized the, the, the antidote for the problems I faced. Of course, the, the, the way I, I, I grew up, the way ha things happened, my circumstances meant that it took me several years to get past those barriers. But it made me think, what is that advice that I would give to myself, okay? So it's very simple actually. And a lot of people are already doing it, but I feel like a lot of people, especially in like our generation, like the people that are like uh, in their 20s now, uh, they haven't done. Some even reach their, you know, 30s and they still haven't done, like taken on this advice and they're, they're a bit lost. Uh, and I feel like what happens uh, for a lot of young people now, they have so much choice when it comes to university, when it comes to jobs, when it comes to careers, and they feel like they have a lot of time to pick the perfect job, the perfect degree, and they want it perfect from, from the get-go. And they feel like they have so much luxury to, to make these decisions. And of course, that's, that's really not the truth. Uh, in fact, in the past, things might have been easier for people our age because they were forced into a job. Uh, they had to help their parents, the, you know, to provide for their family uh, from a young age. And so they're like, look, there's a car factory job. Let me go work in the car factory. They don't have the luxury of spending three, four years uh, at university, for example, or, you, or even spending up to, you know, age 18 uh, studying like in school or college or whatever. So it was easy for them in a sense. Now we have the luxury of going to university. We have the luxury of doing internships or whatever alternatives there are. And we also have the luxury of picking what subject to do to, to study and that's actually become a bit of a problem because like you know you might have heard of the paradox of choice you have so many choices that you actually don't choose any and that's the, the problem that I came up against in a way and I think a lot a lot of young people are coming up against this now so what is the antidote what is the advice I would give to myself when I was 18 to avoid this problem and that would be from as early age as possible, like from 14 onwards, perhaps something like that, I would do as much as possible. Um, I would get involved in different experiences as much as possible. That being uh, jobs, full-time jobs, part-time jobs, um, volunteering, um, starting businesses, like whatever I could do that would uh, allow me to experience new things, I would do that. Because of course it would give you the experience that you could then put on your CV or whatever. That's not really the important point. The important point is learning what you like, what you dislike, what you hate, and what you um, are good at and what you're bad at. You know, all of these things is Im extremely important to, to learn. And I feel like or what I've experienced is that throughout school and university, all I was doing was studying. I was doing a few experiences and I think that's why I was a little bit better off than others. I was doing certain sports and certain other activities uh, that helped me. But what I've noticed is a lot of people, all they're doing is they go to their studies at school, university, and then all they do other than that is chill. And so they don't have many experiences to draw upon to say, I'm good at that, I'm bad at that, I hate that, I love that. And so their confidence going into any job or any you know further studies is very limited they're like oh, well i don't know how to do that i've never done that before because they have never done it before and so this is the simple advice i would give is get involved in as much as possible get involved experience it find out what you like and dislike it will help you so 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 much okay um this is the simple message my phone is overheating so i've got to i've got to keep it uh, short here well, well, there you go. Uh, it did overheat. Uh, I, I said everything I need to say. Hope it was beneficial. Please drop in the comments what you will take from this video, how you, you will react from it, how you will implement it, because I do think it's really essential uh, for people like in their 20s, even if you're in, you know 18 till 30, pretty much that whole age range. So yeah, let me know what is an activity you can just dive into? What's volunteering, internship, part-time job? What can you do that will get you that experience that will allow you to know where you should go in the future? Okay, let me know and I'll see you next time. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.